Hi, welcome to Hearfish. I want to provide some information to you so you know what it is, how it affects you, and what you can do to help. So first off, what is Hearfish? It's an automation system that's built specifically for staffing. And you just became one of our new clients. Jason Heilman and Travis Arnold co-founded Hearfish in 2015. Uh, they both drew upon their extensive background in staffing technology. And all employees and members of Hearfish come from staffing. Several of us uh, have recruiting experience. So it's technology built for staffing from those that have been in staffing for many years. Who am I? I'm Billy Davis. I'm Director of Implementation and Customer Success at Hearfish. I've been automating and staffing since 2014. I've had three plus years of recruiting experience. I was also a uh, database super admin, process specialist, so I can help in a variety of way, ways for our clients. And I have automated more in Hearfish than anyone in the world. So hopefully I'm able to leverage that expertise to help guide our clients in using Hearfish to its utmost. So you're probably asking, wondering, what does Hearfish do? You might have heard a few things that your, your company is excited about doing, but it can do just about everything. Um, typically, kind of imagination is the limiting factor, but we, we like to think of automation in kind of three different pillars to help kind of organize it a little bit because it can be daunting when you think of all the, the vast capabilities. So they like to think of it in three pillars, kind of data help, so cleaning up your database, making sure you have quality data in there, um, communicating with candidates and clients, that one's probably the most often thought of, so it's emails, text messaging, and then also kind of productivity boosts, where that's alert reminders to the key things that are happening or should be happening um, in your process or your database. So get into some examples here. Um, I, we don't have time or the space to get into all the examples, but just to give you a little flavor of what some things that can be done. From a data health perspective, you know, we can create a, a rule and kind of automation to, to auto-close certain jobs after they've been open X amount of days. So you can kind of auto-clean that up. We can identify candidates and clients that are missing key information. So whatever um, kind of your intake process is or your screening process is, if there are candidates or clients that don't have information in those fields, we can identify them and then deploy automations to update that information automatically, ask the individual, and then their replies and responses can go directly back into the database. And we can also do things like automatically update candidate statuses or client contact statuses based on criteria. So for example, you could do, you know, if your active candidates haven't had a note in a year, change them to inactive automatically. You know, uh, candidate statuses of placed and they're not currently placed in an active placement, change them back to available. Do all sorts of things as far as those status triggers go. The productivity pillar, this can be a really great one because you can get key alerts and insights as to things that are happening or reminders to follow your internal processes. So a couple of examples here, you can get reminders when candidate send outs are, are taking too long. So you sent out a, a candidate three plus days ago, the client hasn't gotten back to you. You can get a, a reminder sent to the job owner, whoever made the submission, whomever you want, or all of them that you want uh, to follow up. Or you could even ping the client directly to follow up about that particular submission and send out. You can get an alert whenever a top candidate or client uh, visits a page on your website or does a, a whole host of activities, um, opens an email, clicks an email, you know, goes to your blog, views a job, applies to a job. You can get near real-time alerts when that stuff is occurring, which can be really powerful from kind of a lead generation and follow-up standpoint. And then you can also trigger personalized auto reach out which can greatly boost productivity. So for example, if you, if you put a note in the system that you left a voicemail uh, for a candidate or a client, we can automatically send a text message and or an email as well, merging in key information from the database, their name, what you called them about, um, any of the, the details in the record, 
all those types of things. You can make them very personalized and dynamic. Um, you could also do something where you submit 50 or 60 candidates uh, to a specific role, and that can become a trigger to send each of those candidates a personalized message, text message, email, merging in information about the job, job title, pay rate, location, et cetera, asking them if they're, if they're interested in finding out more. So you can really amplify productivity if you are using the system to its utmost. And then lastly, the communication pillar, and this one is, is pretty uh, commonly thought of as far as an automation standpoint goes. Uh, so you can automate those dynamic emails and text messages. You can do plain text or rich text emails. So you have a lot of options there. You can also send surveys. Uh, through here fish uh, which can accomplish a variety of things the satisfaction scores writing information back to the database getting a whole host of insights and things and some examples common examples here you know having setting up an auto responder to anyone that applies online to the website um, that's always a good one make sure you're you're reaching out if, if someone's taking the time to do so uh, and then there's a whole host of automations and use cases where you can nurture and engage each of your kind of client segments, your candidates, client contacts, and uh, your place contractors and candidates. So you can really create some awesome um, automations to amplify what you're doing from an outreach and nurturing standpoint. So some commonly asked questions that we that we get through this process especially from kind of the recruiting and uh, business development side. You know, what happens if someone responds to a message, whether it be an email, a text message, a survey, that kind of thing. Um, responses will route straight to whomever sent the message. So there's a few different sending options inside of Herefish. You can, we can send messages dynamically uh, based off of who owns the candidate, who left last note in the system for the candidate, who made the submission, who owns the job, and a whole host of other dynamic variables. So you can accomplish virtually anything you want from a sending dynamic perspective. And then whomever the message sends from, if someone replies to that email, replies to that text message, that's gonna come straight to them just as if they sent it themselves. So how will this help you? Um, so when deployed correctly, it's gonna make you extremely more productive. Uh, some of our clients achieve 20 times a productivity boost per each of their users. And that's kind of leveraging all the different ways that Herefish can help uh, with the communication, data health, and uh, productivity boosts. How do you know what's going on? Um, so there's a few different methods. I want to show you one of them here. So inside of your database, there's going to be a Herefish tab. And there, for, for each of your candidates or client contacts that are inside of Herefish, and there you'll be able to come to this kind of contact activity center area and be able to see at a snapshot everything that's going on. So this Herefish score is a, a number, a numeric value, 0 to 100. This gives you a snapshot of how engaged someone is. As you can see, I'm slipping a little bit here. Um, everyone starts at 50. Uh, it'll decay over time if there isn't engagement. Um, as engagement happens, especially engagement of higher quality, so uh, clicks, views, job applies, that type of thing, the score will boost up even higher. This right-hand module, you can see everything that's going on. You can even filter these activities to look specifically at text messages, emails, opens clicks, page views, job views applies, then responses to surveys. So that's kind of the, the module you'll go to uh, get a quick idea of, of what's been going on recently with the person. You can also look to see what lists someone is in, what automations they are, and the status of each. We have dynamic matching jobs. You can come in here and, and ensure that, that those are correct. And then you can even get some additional information about the person and also a time-stamped activity of everything that's happening inside of Herefish for that individual. And then we also can do things that correspond to your normal kind of flow. So in uh, Herefish, we have the ability to create notes on candidate client contact records. We can automatically create tasks for you. And then we can also set up notifications, which would send you an email. 
So those three methods, in addition to the Here Fish tab, combine to let you know kind of exactly what's going on, uh, what you need to do next, and uh, should keep you in the know with everything that's happening with your candidates and client contacts. Are you being replaced? No, not doing that. Um, the goal here is to amplify and empower what you do, to get rid of the mundane and the tedious, so you can do what you do better and hopefully what you enjoy more, which is building relationships with your candidates, with your clients, you know, take some of the data entry um, tasks or the double data entry, triple data entry in some cases, automate those things so that you can have time freed up to do additional uh, kind of more high value activities. Do you have to do anything differently? Uh, hopefully the answer to that is no. Um, if you follow your internal processes, and ensure that the, the data that you enter is accurate. Everything should flow naturally and good from there. So uh, hopefully the answer is a no to there. If not, we'll just have to shore up and make sure you're, you're following uh, the processes that have been outlined in the business uh, and then ensure that your, your data entry is, is accurate. But the good news is you're gonna have great reason now to have your data entry be top notch because you're gonna have a whole host of things that will automatically trigger off of that and take care of it for you. Um, so it's a task now that's gonna be, um, you know, increase your productivity and provide a lot of value for yourself. And you're, if you're interested to know what you can do to help, I think that the best way that you can do so is from an idea brainstorming generation standpoint. So uh, are there any pain processes or pain points in your processes that uh, you'd like to eliminate or improve? So that can be really helpful. You know, bubble that up to uh, your manager or the executive team. And they can kind of reach out and see if there's an automation that can help uh, make that a little bit smoother for you. So it can be a great way to uh, really expand your foundation of automation is if everyone understands what it can do, number one but is thinking of, you know, is there, is there a way we could improve this or make this better? And of course, we're here always to help as well. So if you have any questions, please reach out and let us know. Thank you and happy automating.